Good evening. After nearly a decade at war, we've become accustomed to seeing America's brave men and women fighting for this country on battlefields from Iraq to Afghanistan. But there's a small elite group of soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines you'll never see and probably won't hear much about unless the mission is big. They are troops of the Special Operations Command, highly secretive commando teams that are only called upon for the most important and most dangerous assignments, like killing Osama bin Laden. But who are these special warriors? They train for years on missions that will more than likely remain secret forever, with the rare exceptions such as the hunt for Osama. The operators that conducted the operation, my hat's off to them. Uh, they're, they're the best of the best. As a member of the elite Delta Force, Colonel James Reese once commanded a special operations unit in Afghanistan. Now that he's retired in private business, he still uses what he learned. Special operation forces use these to learn how to breach through doors to get into buildings that have been hardened and barricaded. He trains law enforcement and military personnel here at his facility just outside Fort Bragg in North Carolina. And he knows better than most how much training and preparation went into the bin Laden operation. They're the Alex Rodriguez's. And that's what you get with special operations. Uh, you know, the New York Yankees have one Alex Rodriguez. The special operations have hundreds of Alex Rodriguez's out there on their team. He won't talk specifics about missions he conducted during his years on Special Forces, but he will say what it takes to be one of the elite. They study, they research, they understand the environment where they are. They're always conducting uh, uh, battlefield operational prep of the battlefield and intelligence. It really is master's and doctorate level work that most people don't realize how cerebral an operation this type of aspect does.